Hey YouTubers, Grimmy Dragon here, and once again it's time to start a review. And this time we're going to Eternia to look at the Masters of the Universe Classics Collector's Choice Lord Mask. Now before we get into Lord Mask's figure, I thought we should take a look at the back of the uh, box. Uh, to point out a bit of a travesty here because the bios are gone which is quite a shame I mean I know Scott Knightlake wrote the bios for the main series and he's no longer with Mattel but you know, couldn't they have gotten someone else to write the new bios for these new figures I mean seriously was a chance for someone else to show they had some creativity and give us something interesting about the character to go off of. I mean, not everybody has seen the uh, 1980 series. You know, I'm sure most people who buy this have, but not everybody. I mean, at least they did put characters that were in the same episode as him in the cross cell which I appreciate and for the title they gave him the evil serpent uh, <laughs> evil servant sorry <laughs> of Shakoti which you know really helped me out because I kinda forgot who he was initially and that gave me something to go off of so I was able to watch the episode he appeared in which is helpful And watching that episode really gives me a fresh image of uh, the how he appeared there in my mind. So I can honestly say he's this figure is a nice representation of that character. I and mean, they did a great job of bringing that um, character out into a 3D physical form. And of course we got to take a look at Mask's mask which is by far the most important part of the figure and that is definitely spot on to the filmation cartoon otherwise he has the a nice little black cape um, his armor is just a couple leather straps with a uh, pearlized jewel in the middle a similar jewel on the belt buckle He's got the tights, uh, some straps on the legs, gloves and boots. Not much to him as far as his uh, appearance goes, but it is spot on to the show, so awesome. You know, I mean, it's a definite barbarian vibe, so it fits He-Man pretty well, so I'm glad to hear it, glad to see it, so. Getting on to articulation, you got a nice ball joint at the head forward backward and in and out at the shoulders nice universal joints there bicep swivel everything is nice and tight on him too got an almost 90 degree elbow bend got the uh, wrist swivel got the ab crunch again very tight Waist swivel, universal joints at the hips, a little hindered by the waist piece, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, about 90 at the knee, he does have a thigh swivel, boot cut swivel, and a little rock at the uh, ankle. Like, and just forward backward at the ankle, nothing uh, left and right. No pivots, unfortunately, but, you know. Well, no, he is a really nice figure. And I do like him. I think he turned out pretty well. Now, for a quick size comparison, uh, of course, we're going to put him next to He-Man. Because why not? And this is the uh, two-pack He-Man from uh, the... He-Man Superman 2-pack uh, uh, from a couple years ago. 
which is the closest thing that we've gotten to a filmation style He-Man until next month. Or this month, uh, actually. So, yeah. Anyway, as you can see, he does fit pretty well together with He-Man. A little bit taller thanks to his head, but I do think the size comparison is pretty good. Now, while Mask was a magic user and had no uh, weapons to speak of in the cartoon series, I mean, he was a one-off villain, so who knows what he used beforehand, uh, he did include a green laser sword and laser shield that were quite apparently made for somebody else. Gee, an HM logo on the shield. I wonder who these are for. Of course, if you guessed New Adventures He-Man, you'd be correct. Because these weapons were actually based on the Thunder Punch variety of the New Adventures He-Man. So, you know, Mattel decided to give us a couple weapons for a variant on our New Adventures figure. But, uh... Yeah, missed out on a translucent um, body armor for He-Man. Still, thanks to Pixel Dan for providing the information on this little discovery, and uh, it's appreciated. However, if you don't want to put it on New Adventures He-Man, and felt like giving that Alcala sword that um, Dare came with to... Uh, a more standard He-Man, you can give the green sword to him because he has that New Adventures look. And these two weapons look pretty good on him. The silver matches his armor pretty well. Best of all. And actually, she's in this armor far better than that Alcala sword did. So... You've got a weapon that he can actually holster in the armor. Well, this particular, well, either armor really, but, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good way to do it. Quite honestly, I think Lord Mask was a great way to start off the Collector's Choice line. With the Classics 2.0 focusing mostly on Filmation-styled characters and Filmation-style remakes of characters, Mask does a great job of tying the two separate lines together, being a Filmation character himself. And, yeah, if you're looking to complete a Filmation collection, I'd say he's a great way to start off the year. So that should just about do it for Lord Mask. An interesting addition to the He-Man line. But, as always, um, please like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed yourself, and tune in next week. Because it's class silver time again. And next time we are looking at an old snake and his army of bats. So please... Come back to next week, and until then, goodbye out there, whatever you are. <laughs>